childish. Wow. I must die in order to live. Yeah. Sometimes we have to vent to one another, but we got to understand when it's time to vent and when it's not time to vent. That's true. Amen. Well, I'm sick of seeing him this way. He's walking in this, and he an apostle, and he's a prophet, and he is this, and he is that. When did you decide to get on your knees and start praying for the prophet and the apostle? Oh. We so quick to pull them down, but won't nobody get down on their knees because when Jesus laid up on the cross, the first thing I heard that he said to his father, forget them, Father, for they know not what they do. But we so ready to crucify God's people. Wow. 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 Why are we so quick to crucify everybody? He didn't crucify you in your raggediness. So why are we ready to crucify everybody else? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, my Lord. I know that's right. We going to be judged. Honey, first you need to learn how to become obedient to God's holy word. Then you will become a judge. He said you judge righteously. We're not judging righteously. We're judging out of flesh. Oh, my God. Right. Wow. We just, because we just want to be heard that we found them in their sin. Oh, well, you found them in their sin. And you feel all right about that? It's okay if you found your brother in sin and we're all seeking to pull one another up? Mm -hmm. It's okay that he's going to hell? What's wrong with that picture? Okay, Jesus. Something. What's wrong with that picture? We must yet die to live. Mm -hmm. Wow. We already knew that every one of us was not going to call him Savior and Lord of our life. We already knew that the tea, the tear and the wheat had to grow together. We knew this. Mm -hmm. But us that say we sanctified and Holy Ghost filled and come back, filled, baptized, all these long words we got to come up with. And we still live in flesh. Mm -hmm. We still live carnally. Yeah. What happened to when you opened the doors of the household of faith? You couldn't get us to sit down back in the day. That's all right. Uh oh. And I'm not even talking about 20, 40 years ago. I'm talking about six years ago. I remember when Apostle West was alive. I remember when Apostle McCray sat in the back. When we would all get together, you couldn't get us through the door good enough before we started praising God. We couldn't even have church because God had moved in the earth. I remember when Tabernacle praised. I remember when we all got together. And it wasn't about who got to preach. It was just a point of so God saved. But now it's all about who gets to preach. That's right. Who's going to get the money tonight? That's right. My Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Why I got to get paid to give God's holy word? Uh, he didn't uh, charge me to get saved. He just gave up his life. But yet, I want to charge you before I even come to your pulpit. I got to charge you $500 just so my armor bearers to come. Mm, my God. Work wow. it, work it, work What's it. biblical? Find me a scripture that supports that. Please find me a scripture that supports The first thing they say, a, word, a workman is worthy of his hire. But God said you go in. He told his disciples, don't go in looking for nothing. That's what he said. He said, you accept what they give you and you are blessed. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. But the problem is now, everything is about a ah! That's the Bible. We got all now. these little G's. You know, I'm bigger than that church because they got two members. I can't go there. Well, right now. I got, they got only, all they got is chaff. I can't go to them. The ones that's got to come up. That's why. Right. You on that, baby. Let me let you know now. It is a part of command. Always. The problem is, we take for granted that we're going to see tomorrow. You are not guaranteed to see tomorrow. So whatever you ain't got right tonight, you might not open your eyes up. So wherever he finds you, whatever thing he finds you in, that's the judgment that you're going to be judged in. I know that's right. So if that he calls you right, right now, if you got issues with your brothers and sisters in hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Sure enough. If you gossiping right now, he called you to come home, you're going to hell. That's it. If you're backbiting right now, God called you to come to glory, hell, you're going to lift your eyes up. But the problem is we're not talking about heaven and hell anymore. All we're talking about is how you can make money Oh God. We're pimping. Oh, oh, mm. Yes, sir. Let that go. This is how you get into prosperity. Mm -hmm. They love it. I wish above all things that we were prosper and be in hell, even as our soul prosper. The first thing they talk about is, I wish above all things that I would prosper. But you didn't understand that he said at the end, mm -hmm. as well. your soul prosper. If your soul ain't prospering, baby, you're not going to be in hell. You're going to always be sick because you're not walking 
and God's holiness. Well, God's blessings cannot fall on, on unholy ground. If you are unclean, baby, he don't deal with uncleanness. His mercy and his grace gives us days to get it together. But his blessings, the real blessings that he has for his people, cannot fall upon us because we still walking in the flesh. This is how you do it. Just go to church. Pay your tithe. Pay your offering. But we're not teaching them the in depth for that. The reason we pay our tithes, the reason we pay our offering is because the many blessings he bestowed. He didn't have to give us that job. No, he didn't. We could have been on the street without a job. He gave us that job. That's why I'm blessed to be able to bless God's house. Because there was a time I didn't have any money to give in God's house. Mm -hmm. So when I got my job and when I was able to give an offering, I was happy to give an offering line. Right. But then that became what was become a hundred dollar line to get a hundred dollar blessing and a thousand dollar line to get a thousand dollar blessing. That's and I'm going to prophesy you a house if you give me fifty dollars tonight. The <laughs> devil. All right, I never Lord. knew Jesus to come up with a thousand dollar line. All right, I never Lord. knew Jesus to go out and tell all those people of God, the body of Christ, that the only way you can be saved and the only way that you can be healed and the only way that you can be delivered and set free, you got to pay me. That's what they say. Well, he gave, he paid the ultimate cost that we could never pay, and that was his life. I'm telling you now, I wouldn't die for none of us. I wouldn't die for myself, and I sure wouldn't die for the body of Christ. <laughs> The people need to be real. We won't die for the body of Christ. We know how they hurt us. You gonna die for me? I have most hurt from the church. I never got hurt in the world like I got hurt in the church. Uh, they love to say, well, in the world I didn't do this. In the world I had fun. Yeah. The world was real with me. They didn't come and talk about me and they want to shout with me in the same atmosphere. If they didn't like you, they told you they didn't like you and they didn't hang around you. But these days, we are shout with you. We'll come eat at your house and talk about you before we get out of the house door. That's right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. The saints, the saints, the saints. But we say, yeah, we still Christ. We Christ like we got Christ mind. Mm -hmm. How can you have Christ mind when you killing your brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. 